Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Newberry Racecourse here on Saturday. It is February the 11th, 2017. Going to look at the stakes races on today's program. Races 3, 4, and 5, so the 225, the 3 o'clock, and the 335 post time. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseracingKid5 for more selections for racetracks across the world. So let's get on to it. Three races I'll be looking at. The third race, first one, um, is the Betfair Denman Chase. Grade 2 race for Class 1 horses. Going for a person. $61,500. It's a five year olds and upwards. Only three horses going the two miles and seven eighths distance over the chase course, but it's a great race. And uh, my top pick of this one, I'm going to go to the two horse, number two, Native River, with Richard Johnson, even money favorite here. You know, this horse looks very hard to beat. Most recently, this horse had to start on the 27th of December at Chepstow. Three miles and 11 16th in the group in the grade three uh, Coral Welsh Grand National. Horse won that day by one and three quarter lengths. Had a very was the favorite and just ran incredibly well uh, on a very wet day. You know, it was an all around great victory. Start before November 26th here at Newberry, three miles and a quarter in the Hennessy Gold Cup. Horse really ran well that day also. Horse won by half length. You know, he, he just was, you know, it was probably one of his better wins of his career. It was an all around great victory. And then start before over the hurdles at Weatherby, October 29th in the Brett. 365 hurdle. Horse finished second by two and three quarter lengths. You know, he, 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 the hurdles maybe just wasn't to his liking that day. Maybe also it, it was his first start since last um, April, so maybe he needed the start. But his last start last year, which was a great race, watched the replay um, earlier today, it was that uh, Aintree. Three miles and eighth over the chase course in the mid-May novice chase. Horse won by three lengths. Great, great, great run in that field of eight horses. I think in this spot, this horse should have a good run. So to recap my bets for race number three from Newberry, it's the better Fair Denman Chase. Gonna go with the two horse Native River. So now let's get on to race number four from Newberry. The three o'clock post time. It's the Betfair Exchange Chase. It's a great two race here for registered as the Game Spirit Chase. So just keep that in mind. Um, for class one horses going for a purse $61,500. Field of five horses going 3,200 meters or two miles over the chase course. My top pick in this one I'm going to go to the two-horse Altour. He looks very, very hard to beat in this race also. Um, going to go 2-1-3 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. I think that's the only way you're going to make money this race, um, playing TriCast or Forecast or something like that. But uh, number two, Altour. Three to five, Nico de Bonville is on this Nicky Henderson train. Seven-year-old gelding at a high chaparral. Very good horse. Very big fan of high chaparral. But, um, you know, this horse is coming off a very good run on December the 27th at Kempton. Two miles in the 32 red dot com wayward lad novice chase for grade two horses horse went away with it winning by 18 lengths it was a field of 14 horses 11 cents to the dollar favorite easy 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 you know it, it was a great run start before in the racing post henry novice chase horse won by six lengths at Sandown. um you know another very easy victory and then in his uh, chase debut at kempton two miles and a quarter um you know this horse won by 50 lengths field two horses the other other, other horse in their black cart um black uh court and, you know, he wasn't, nobody was catching that horse that day. Um, you know, it was just easy. You know, the, this, this horse um, won at the Shelton Festival last year. Won, uh, you know, won some very good races over the hurdles. Over the chase course, pretty easy. I think he should really run well here today. What's next for this horse? Are they going to run this horse at Shelton in a few weeks? Hopefully. Um, so to recap my bets for race number four for Newberry, it is the three o'clock post on the Spet Fair Exchange Chase. Going to go with the two horse Altour. Going to go 2 1 3, 2 1 3 in the Tri Cast or the Trifecta. So now let's get on to race number five, the final race I'll be looking at here on YouTube for Newberry, the fifth race, the 335. It's the Bet Fair Hurdle, grade three handicap here for class one horses. Going for a purse of $190,500. That's American currency, so don't get confused. That's for four hills and upwards. Field of 16 horses here um, going the two miles, 3,200 meter trip over the hurdle course. My top pick in this one, I'm going to go to the 11 horse, number 11, Bally Andy. Uh, going to go 11, 4, 13. 11, 4, 13 in the TriCast with the Trifecta, but number 11, Bally Andy, 9 to 2. Sam Twiston Davies is on this uh, Nigel Twiston Davies train, six year old gelding. Most recently, this horse had a start on the 2nd of December at Sandown. Two miles and a half over the hurdle course in the Grade 2 Neptune Investment Manage Management Novice Hurdle. Horse for the second by half length. You know, the winner, Messer Des Abo, just ran a little bit of a better race. But, you know, this horse was basically second best. It was, you know, it was an okay race. Um, start before on November 13th, Shelton. Two miles over the hurdles in the Grade 2 Skybrett Supreme Novice uh, hurdle. Horse finished third by two and three quarter lengths as the favorite. And, you know, Moon Racer, this horse got 
beat by Moon Racer two starts in a row. Moon Racer was just a little bit better. Really couldn't keep up with them. And then start four, just September the 22nd, and Novice Hurdle Class 4 Horses. Horse from second by three quarters length. Really couldn't keep up with them. You know, got beat by Moon Racer again. Um, you, you know, this horse has won four times in this very short career. I think he's due for a victory today. Um, you know, so I'm going to use this horse here as a top pick. So to recap my bets, race number five new, from Newberry, it's the Betfair Hurdle. Going to go with the 11 horse, Bally Andy. Going to go 11 for 13. 11 for 13. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.